Hi kiddos, welcome back. So last time, this is the book that I shared with you, One by Catherine Otoshi. Today, I brought this one. Um, this is the second of the third book that she wrote um, for one and then zero. And then she wrote two, which I will share with you later. But again, this is another very wonderful book that is written and illustrated by Catherine Otoshi. Zero was a big round number. When she looked at herself, she just saw a hole right in her center. Every day, she watched the numbers line up. She wanted to count too. But how could a number worth nothing become something? Zero felt empty inside. She watched one having fun with the others. One was solid and strong with bold strokes and squared corners. Zero was big and round with no corners at all. If I were like one, then I could count two, she thought. So she pushed and pulled she stretched and straightened, she forced and flattened, and finally became zero. She sighed, becoming one was too much of a stretch. Eight and nine rolled into the scene. If you double yourself up, you'd be like me, said eight. So zero twisted and turned to try to be eight. Or you could be a nine, with a longer line, said nine. So zero pinched and puckered to try to be nine. But zero could only be zero. We're on our way to join the others. Come count with us, they said. Zero felt deflated. Eight and nine were numbers with value. Of course, they count. How could they know how she felt? Zero had a new thought. If she could impress the numbers that give her value, she'd leap, she'd soar, she'd sizzle, she'd shine. She'd make a grand entrance and floor them all. Zero began to roll faster and faster and faster. She leaped flying, soaring, rocketing right into one who knocked over two, who fell into three and four, toppling five and six, who crashed into seven and eight, where they all ended up in big pile on nine. All the numbers were bent out of shape. It's no use trying, sobbed Zero. I'll never have value. I'll never be part of the count, she said. It's what's inside that counts most, pointed out Seven. Zero looked at herself. But what if I don't have anything inside? Every number has a value, said Seven. Be open. You'll find a way. Suddenly, Zero saw herself in a new light. I'm not empty inside. I'm open. Zero rolled up to the numbers. I have thought of a way for us to count even more, she said. Count more? asked Four. Count us in, exclaimed Seven. Lead the way, said One. Everyone counts the number shouted. Zero jumped in. Then she leaped up high and said, here's something new we can try. If we help each other soar, we can count even more. Let's count again, starting with... What is that? That's a 10. Let's count together. Mm -hmm. 20, 30, 40. 60, 
70, 80, 90. And what's next? 100. And comes 1,000, right? 10,000, 100,000, 100, oh, a million. We do count more of a cheered. Zero and the numbers explored and have fun, bringing more value to everyone. I'm gonna bring this page up closer so you can see all the cute little numbers. And this time when she looked at herself, she felt whole, right in her center. Well, I hoped you liked that. So remember kiddos, everyone counts. Um, a lot of times things get hard. We don't believe in ourselves, but take the challenge, okay? It's the effort that counts. If you work hard, you know what? You're, you ought to be able to do it. I'll see you next time. Bye.